<laughs> All right, guys. So for those of you who didn't know, Star Wars Celebration is happening right now. I got out of the shower. I was kind of just waiting, biding my time to see if anything was going to come out today that was going to be newsworthy. <laughs> I came into the office, was getting ready to like lay down and take a nap, and this just popped up on my feed. And I've watched it like three times now. To say that I am giddy like a little school child would be an understatement. This is this is this trailer. Honestly, I think Star Wars Ahsoka is going to blow uh, Mandalorian out of the water. I think this is going to be the biggest show that Disney Plus has seen so far. Why? Because this is a known character. Ahsoka Tano is like the number one most known character outside of, you know, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and all the main cast from the Skywalker saga. This is Dave Filoni's baby that was created under George Lucas, and she has been the golden goose, like the number one character that has shown up in all of the Star Wars shows. All of them. Clone Wars, Rebels, Boba Fett, Mandalorian, leading up to her getting her own show. Rosario Dawson. Oh my god, what an actress. And her, uh, mm, I just can't, I have no, not enough words to talk about how amazing this trailer is. We're going to dive into it. Also, we get to see Hera and Sabine. We've got Ray Stevenson, who, by the way, the first thing I ever saw him in was Rome as as Pulo was amazing and just to see him evolve as an actor over the years and he's coming into some sort of Sith dude with a creepy apprentice we get a back shot of Thrawn and we get a name drop from the <clears throat> heir to the empire like there's so much cool stuff that happens in this trailer I'm having to try to avoid expletives here because I don't want to get dinged let's just ah! those shots Hera Chopper oh it looks so good. All of it looks so, 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 so good. It's just... Oh my god! It's been a while. It just... just it's happening. It's, I'm so excited. Like, Star Wars Rebels was such a good show. As cool as Clone Wars was. Star Wars Rebels. Mmm. Things have changed. Yeah, things have changed. Look at those. Look at the ships, man. The Empire. It's the Empire. The fact that they are name dropping Timothy Zahn's books here, because Thrawn is one of the few characters that made it over from the old Legends books, Extended Universe, whatever you want to call them these days. One of the few characters that made it from there into official canon. So the fact that they're referring back to the name of that first book, Heir to the Empire, <laughs> just. This made me nerd out on a level you cannot appreciate unless you are a Star Wars fan. <laughs> it's just so epic here. Empire. Look at, okay, he just bearded out with the white hair. I gotta say, and he's just got this smile on his face. Like he doesn't feel threatened by her at all. Whoever he is, I can't, I have never seen him. I have never seen Ray pull off a bad role he has always ever just done even his version of the punisher was amazing like he is a great actor and i cannot wait did you guys see him as blackbeard in in black sales like he does not bring bad performances to the table so that right there is probably for me i'm just like i'm so stoked for this show i'm so stoked for this show mm. oh Prepare for the worst Jedi fell a long time ago. There aren't many left. Oh, I can't just. Yeah. August 2023. So we've got a few months, a few months to get our heart rates down, get back to normal breathing calm ourselves a little bit i'm gonna go watch this trailer a few more times because <laughs> honestly i am so nerding out over this right now um this is a character that i just there's so much like especially if you haven't watched um the tales of the jedi which they did which that were very short you know what six episodes that they did like the fact that ahsoka is like even in that show should go to show you how important this character is to not just Filoni, but just everybody in the Star Wars creator's room, creator, uh, creative space, writer's room, etc. Like, they know that she is a major player because she shows up in all the franchises. The fact that they have one of the best actresses in Hollywood playing her role is awesome. But also, I think that they've been teasing up to this event enough. Um, 
this is going to be a big thing. Like I said, I think my prediction is that Ahsoka is going to blow the Mandalorian out of the water. I think this is going to have the biggest numbers yet. Also, I think that there won't be a lot of room for the naysayers and the haters to come in and complain about how they've done this. You know, they did this and that out of the other of the character. And I don't like this. That I, There's no room for that because we aren't dealing with, you know, that level of of. Well, I mean, I suppose there could be. You know, there's always going to be haters, but I, I honestly don't think this is going to be that big of a deal because we're not dealing with the uh, Skywalker Saga stuff. We're dealing with more of the extended universe stuff where there's a lot more room to play around with. And the fact that Dave Filoni, who created this character with George Lucas, is still very much in creative control, guiding everything that happens with the show. So Star Wars fans, you have no room to complain about wherever they take this character because Filoni is the one behind it. That's all I have to say. When you have the creator of the character moving it in these directions, I think we're in for a treat. And the fact that they're, they've brought Thrawn back, where's Ezra? I need to see Ezra because when things were left off with, with Thrawn and Ezra, they were off in this other place. And, and it was kind of unknown what their fate was, but they're definitely back. So I need to know what happened. I need to know. Like, I can't wait for more juicy details in all of this. So for me, I'm super excited about this show um we got the rebels cast back together ray stevenson coming in um and 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 being this grizzled old sith dude i don't know who his apprentice is she looks awesome as well we're gonna see mon mothma again there's the, all the inner workings of what's happening here uh and the timeline everything else i guarantee you Din Djarin will probably show up in this at some point. We'll see the Mandalorian. We'll probably see Boba Fett at some point. They'll probably because they are sort of working towards a big kind of Avengers type um, uh, get together at some point. Probably not this year, but maybe 2025 or something. So I would bet we're going to see all of the cast members from the shows that we know and love um, are going to be a part of this. It's you know to some small degree probably. So I don't know. I'm stoked. I can't breathe. <sighs> Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. If you're excited about this as I am, let me know in the comments below. Um, support if you can. Super chat, super thanks, memberships, all those good things. There's a Patreon page, Discord, where you can come hang out with this game with us and all these other things. And may the Force be with you, everyone, because I don't know what else is coming out of Star Wars Celebration today. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. <gasps> it's going to be a good weekend for news. Yeah.